Andrew May recently received his black belt in karate. Yeah. <laughs> and he's legally blind and deaf. I don't know. It's really hard because I'm deaf and blind and I have to depend on sign language for communication. Communication can be tough. As a young boy, Andrew had an interest in karate, but it wasn't until his family moved to Minot when he joined the ATA Fitness family. He said, I want to go, I want to go to ATA. That's when he found his passion. Oh, I just love to learn. I just love it. The teachers, awesome. They explain how to do the boxing part. I just love it. Head instructor Dan Merck worked with Andrew from the beginning. I was surprised when his mom told me that he was blind. I knew he was deaf. And he's very easy to teach because he is just so much more focused than the average student. Um, I have to pass tests. I have to, they explain it to me. I have to keep practicing and learn more, mm -hmm. more and more and more. And I have to go up slowly. I have to really pay attention. He faces challenges that other students don't, but he says that makes the journey more worthwhile. He brings up the level of intensity because people think, well, if he can work hard, then there's no excuse for me not to. When it came time for his black belt test. He nailed it. I mean, he was like, wow, I mean, no, no mistakes. He just crushed it. It became a day that no one would forget. My son has accomplished a goal. When you see Andy get his black belt, it just brings a tear to your eye and it just warms your heart because you know how special, you know, you know how special of an accomplishment it actually is. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Andrew is an amazing young man. Andrew reminds us that nothing should stop you from fulfilling your dreams. Andy it just is one of those guys that just makes you realize that it's all worth it. I'm very proud of him and for the young man that he is. We feel that we're very fortunate to have Andy in our lives because he, um, yeah, he's quite an inspiration. Perhaps it's Andrew who feels the most pride. I am just so happy. In Minot, Alexis Arthur, KX News.